हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग चैनल एंड माय नेम इज चिराग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट फर्स्ट जंक इन जॉब एंड वी आर आल्सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड जॉब बेसिक ऑप्शंस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस व्हाट इज अ जंक व्हाट इज अ सी प्रोसेस एंड हाउ वी कैन सेट अप जंक ऑन विंडोज लिनिक्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आर फर्स्ट जंक जॉब राइट so let me open my chrome so this is the my jenkins which is running on this ip address and by default it is running on 8080 port basically it is running if i can go and see system information it is running on linux machine you can see over here right so what i am doing here i am just going go here and we will create our first new job right welcome to jenkins please create a new job to start i click on this and i will give jenkins first job and as in previous video uh, well i was uh, set up uh, jenkins on linux i did not uh, install any plugin that's why i am going i am i can see that there is a free style project but if i install some plugin then there are other option uh, are also display so for that those option we will discuss in next video in this video we just keep as simple as how we can start a new or create a new jenkins job so i click on free style project and click on okay right so you can see there would there are many of tabs display there is a general tabs these are source code management build trigger build post build action so let we will discuss one by one in general there you can see the the project name the job which by which name i have created that name display here and here we can set a description this is a first jenkins job and this means discard or build means you can discard the build right so this is a good if you discard your old build so i put here you can give the two option either by day or maximum builds key so it is necessary if we discard all builds because uh, it saves our memory right so i put here five it means that it keep only five build history right if i put 50 so it will give uh, it will contains or keep 50 build history right and other option is this project is parameterized so we will discuss this in coming videos i will create a separate video for this and other is disable this project it means if i do not want to enable this project i can disable this project so i will click on this check box and it will disable right execute concurrent build i will discuss this in upcoming video basically it means that at one time jenkins can run one build at a time but if i click on this then we can run same build parallelly at same time right so how we can do this i will show you it doesn't matter just you have to click on this and you can easily set up so we will see in coming video right other is important what is a source code management basically in this jenkins understand from where you want to source your code uh, as i do not uh, install github or svn plugin yet so it does not show me the github and svn plugin options here uh, for github integration with jenkins and by using selenium i will create a separate video in this video i just keep a simple 
that uh, you can understand what is a source code management in this video i am going to with a none means i am telling junkies that i do not use git i do not use svn i use only only none none means i am either i give a copy or paste my code under our workspace or i will i will uh, do not use any source code right and what is a build trigger how you can trigger a build so basically you can trigger a build by remotely from my script here you can generate a token right token name here so how we can generate a token name we will discuss in separate video because it is a different topic other than this uh, introduction of first job right build after other project are built if you want to just create a chain means one build is triggered suppose build a is triggered after that build will build p will be triggered after that build b c will trigger so by doing this chain we can use this build after other project right build periodically in this we can schedule our job how we can schedule or automatically trigger our job right so i will create a separate video for this and pull scm uh, in the by using this uh, option we can integrate our jenkins with git when any push comes into that git repository that automatically my build my this job will trigger so this option will use by devops and mostly when we are using continuous integration then we can use this option right so i will create a separate video this also and now come with a build how you wanna to build this so as i using jenkins on linux so i will use execute shell right uh, if i am using windows then i can use windows uh, execute windows patch command but i am using a linux so i will using this so what i do i just put pwd over here right and apply and save before saving this i will show you this post build action so this means if i want to as i discussed that if we want to build our project in chain then we can use this means after this build finish either you wanna to build another project or not so you can use this option if i want to build another project then i use this build other project and give the name over the build which build i want to trigger and there are three options that trigger that if this is stable trigger even the build is unstable means this pre build is unstable or trigger if the builds fail means uh, you can trigger if pass or fail you can trigger this build so this will helpful when we need to uh, build our post build action right so means build a is completed and now i have to trigger build v automatically so i can use this option and put here build p right currently i do not want to use build post action right so by applying and save i have successfully created a first my jenkins job if i go here it's show me last success last failure last duration because i do not run this job yet right when i click on this here you can see changes workspace build now delete project configure so when i click on configure our same page has been display right i click on save same information display over here right you can build now you can configure you can delete this project so let run this build now so i click on build now and you can see first build is generated and you can see that my workspace display over here home 
Chirag Todd Jenkins workspace Jenkins first job right so let uh, I need to run anything I need to run a read a file which is put on desktop so how can I do by Jenkins right so let me give a demo with Jenkins this this is my putty and if you can see this this is my uh, Linux machine and I have taken the session through putties because in mostly company we do not have the access of Linux we just use putty so I just wanted to show you how we can run or how we can use Linux machine on or in any an organization right so let me first check ITPWD where I am and I put ls and what I am doing I just wanna to read get edit text file right so this show let me clear first this show this is a chirag and this tutorial is for to run first junkin job so I want to display this message through Jenkins how can I do right so before that I need to go configure and now I have to write the commands home chirag text top let me open this put clear over here pwt so you can see home chirag desktop i write the same home chirag desktop and cd means we have to change the directory now i have to use cat and i use cat edit text file so same command i am using on Jenkins edit text file dot txt right so let me save this apply and save first we will run on this so this is the expected message which display on this putty now I will run on Jenkins and we see will we see this message or not let me open and you can see that same message I can display Jenkins console also right so what it show it shows that we can run anything if I need to run this shell script over here I can write the shell script if I need to run anything I can run anything means this is my uh, terminal right for execute shell because I am running Jenkins on Linux so guys this is about the first Jenkins job hopefully you like this video and you understand this uh, how we can create first Jenkins job and in coming video we will discuss about how we can integrate selenium with Jenkins how we can integrate APM what is a parameterization job in Jenkins and how we can integrate git so all the advanced uh, features of Jenkins we will discuss in upcoming video so stick with this uh, series and thank you for watching this video if you like this video please press like button and if you like my work please subscribe my channel bye bye take